This city is the most controversial city in the world. But this city also changes everyone in one way or another. Jerusalem is considered holy by three major monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. While it continues as a spiritual and historic center, it is also a modern dynamic city where traditional lifestyles blend with cosmopolitan ideas. Oh, and that's just my friend Klein photobombing. By the way, I filmed a fun Indian food taste testing video in Jerusalem with my friends David and Klein. Go check it out. But why did I call Jerusalem the Varanasi of Israel? Stay till the end of this video to find out why. Walking into Jerusalem's old city is a magical experience. Walking through the streets is like walking through years and years of history. It has been conquered, destroyed and rebuilt numerous times by various civilizations including Canaanites, Israelites, Babylonians, Romans, Crusaders and Ottomans. I had the chance to visit this beautiful city and I thought I wanted to share my experience with all of you. Welcome to the most magical place on earth the Western Wall. This wall can literally change your life in minutes. I'm serious. This place holds divine energy that you can't explain. Doesn't matter if you're religious or not, you should visit and experience this place at least once in your life. This is not the first time that I visited, but every time I take darshan of the Western Wall, it's an extraordinary experience. I am very sensitive to energy, so the time I stepped foot on the ground, I started to feel goosebumps. It gets me every single time. You see, people of diverse background mingling, praying and having a meaningful time. This piece of wall that you see is the retaining wall of the second temple that was destroyed years and years ago. For generations, the Western Wall has been a sacred touchstone point for the Jews. The act of placing your hands on the gigantic stone becomes an intimate conversation between you and the Divine. The Western Wall has become a potent symbol of Jewish identity, faith and national unity. It is a place for pilgrimage and prayer, where Jews from all around the world gather to celebrate religious holidays, conduct bar mitzvah ceremonies and offer prayers of gratitude and supplication. You can come to write your own prayers, like I did and I placed it in the crevices of the Western Wall. Above and behind the Western Wall, you will see the holiest site in Israel for Muslims called the Al-Aqsa Mosque. This is the third holiest place for the Muslim community after Mecca and Medina. The golden dome shining from a distance distance is called the Dome of Rock. Jerusalem sometimes mistakenly gets a reputation for being very homogeneous, a city filled with religious Jews. The reality couldn't be farther from the truth. Jerusalem is one of the most diverse cities in the world. Throughout the city, you will find a mix of not only Haredim, which is ultra-Orthodox, Dati, modern religious and secular Jews, but also Muslims and Christians. You will interact with Israelis and Olim from all around the world, including places like USA, Russia, South Africa, Australia, the UK, France, Ethiopia, and India. But why is Jerusalem the Varanasi of Israel? Let me tell you. Jerusalem and Varanasi, despite being geographically and culturally distinct, share profound similarities as spiritual centers deeply intertwined with religious traditions and historical significance. Jerusalem is considered holy in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, it stands as a testament to millennia of religious devotion. Similarly, Varanasi is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world, holds immense spiritual importance in Hinduism. Both cities serve as vibrant hubs of religious and cultural exchange, drawing pilgrims and visitors seeking spiritual solace, historical enlightenment and a deeper understanding of their respective faiths. In Jerusalem, ritual baths called as mikveh hold significant importance in Judaism, similar to how bathing in River Ganga in Varanasi serves as a purification ritual. Jerusalem includes the Western Wall, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and Dome 
Dome of the Rock, while in Varanasi, they include the Kashi Vishwanath Temple, Sankat Mochan Hanuman Temple, and Durga Temple. Jerusalem and Varanasi, with their storied past and vibrant present, exemplify the universal human quest for meaning, transcendence, and connection to the divine. I hope my Indian brothers and sisters have the chance to visit Jerusalem and my Israeli brothers and sisters have a chance to visit Varanasi. memberships for an affordable price. This is a way to support me financially and help this channel grow. My members get first priority for video features, live stream replies and access to my personal post. I frequently give my members a chance to hop on exclusive calls with me as well. If you love my content and believe in Moses in Israel, I would invite you to join my membership club. The link is in the description. You are literally a few clicks away from being a member of the Moses in Israel community. That's it for this video and I will see you next time.